everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm Jimmy, and this is The Real Dad Show. I'm really excited about today's episode. After a long week of nothing but rain, the forecast is sunny skies starting today for Southern California. So, I'm finally going to get to try this uh, product out. I've been dying to try it out. Heard nothing but good reviews. This is Cerakote Trim Coat Restore. Uh, before we get into that, just wanted to remind you to subscribe to my channel. It helps uh, when you're typing out keywords for us to get our videos out to you easier and quicker. It just puts us higher in the priority. Also, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos. Uh, I also wanted to uh, congratulate the Martinez family, Sophia and Rolando Martinez. And uh, they won the 50th subscriber um, contest that we had. Anyway. They got some really cool swag. Uh, I'll try to put that at the end of this video or somewhere in the middle, but if you are on my Facebook page, you'll find it there. Uh, their opening of the package we sent them. So, uh, before I get more confused and tongue-tied, let's uh, get on with this video. So, Cerakote Trim Coat. It's uh, supposed to put a ceramic, or add a ceramic, or ceramic coating of some kind on your uh, trim coat. So I have an avalanche. If you have a lot of plastic molding around your car, especially here in Southern California, where it gets really hot, and if you don't put stuff in your garage, as you can see, my garage is my man cave, so all the cars stay outside. So uh, your trim coat, or your trim, gets uh, really faded after a while, and it's a really big problem with Chevy avalanches. So uh, this is supposed to restore it to the factory black color. It's guaranteed for two years, and I believe 200 washes. And if it doesn't, get your money back. I have uh, sent a couple emails to Trimcoat, or to Saracoat, and uh, they've been awesome with their responses, giving me advice, and uh, they're a really good company. So far, I'm impressed. So let's open this up and see what we got before we go out to the truck and try it out. All right, let's open this up. I'm trying to do a nice job here instead of ripping it up. There we go. Okay. okay so we've got, that's cool, a couple of pairs of surgical gloves and we've got applicator pads so we've got what? one two three four five six seven eight nine ten trim coats or packages I'm guessing the applicators in here from what I've seen it looks like a okay as you can see the areas that I'm most concerned with is the back of the truck so you can see it's really faded it's all supposed to be black There's really nothing in that's plastic in the front except for the front bumper, which doesn't look too bad. And that area. Okay, so just to make my job easier, I just took the bed cover off and those little side uh, grate things. I don't know what you call them. Uh, but... Uh, this will just make it easier on me so I can reach the entire panel. Okay, now that we have a nice clean uh, surface, we can go ahead and uh, move on to the application process. I bought three applicators because I don't know how much I'm going to need for each panel. I might just need one, but I'm not going to uh, cheap out on these because there's not a lot of... Uh, plastic 
that I need to uh, restore on the truck. It's mostly this and a couple other spots. So I don't think I'm gonna need all of this. So let's start off with one. Put these aside. And from what I understand, these are supposed to look like a baby wipe. And that's pretty much what it does look like. So we're gonna leave it like this and then we're gonna just do the edges first. So far, it's going on pretty easy. Now, I also recommend that you watch the video that Trim Coat has on YouTube. I'll put a link to it in the description area. So now we could just open it up a little bit more. I Me, mean, I like to do a lot of research when I do projects. The fumes on this are pretty strong. So I would definitely recommend using this in an open area, or if you're doing it in the garage like I am, I would definitely recommend that you have the garage door open. Okay, so this is how it looks after one hour of cure time. To be honest, there are a few streaks in it. So far, I'm not entirely impressed. It'll probably last longer than Armorel. Armor but generally, I'm not seeing that big a difference. Maybe it'll get darker as time goes by. 
I'm going to do another coat on this after I do the rest of the truck. But I'm going to wait until this evening to do the truck. It's pretty warm out there, and they said you're not supposed to do it or apply this when the car's warm. Again, as you can see those streaks, I hope you can see those. And then there's this, these white blotchy parts. Not sure. If that was there, you know, because of this or not. I don't know. So we'll wait a little bit longer before we apply a second coat. Okay, it's been about three, three and a half hours that it's been curing. It is kind of darker, but there's definitely some streaking. I don't know if you can see that. See that white blotch right there on that one? It's not very even. You know, I, I really wanted this to work. I'm a little bummed. So if you can see the streaking, I applied uh, each panel each got their own you know applicator and should have covered this see there's another blotch right there I really wanted this to work I'm kind of bummed okay I'm really getting tired of doing these retakes so I'm hoping that this will be the last one I can get it all done in this last take so this is what happened with Cerakote I decided just to stop everything I was doing. I left the panels where they were, and I didn't even move on to the truck. I decided I better just call Sarah Coat, ask them if there's uh, anything I'm doing wrong. So, I ended up talking with a really nice guy named Josh in technical support, and uh, I sent him some pictures, some videos. We talked for a few minutes, and we just came to the conclusion that my trim was just way too sun bleached for. Uh, trim coat to to do anything with trim coat is a clear ceramic coating there's no dyes in it there's no paint there's nothing it's just the ceramic and what it uses so it is what it is <laughs> so uh, I have no doubt if my truck wasn't as sun bleached that this would have worked uh, I'm gonna leave the panels the way they are they, they look a little bit better than what they did before, so they're fine. Uh, as far as Cerakote, they do back up their product 100%. I got an email from Josh within 10 minutes and he said that they were reimbursing my, uh, my money. So about 10 minutes after that, I got an email from Amazon that said that they just reimbursed uh, my money. So then I get about 20 minutes later, I get a message from my bank that said that my money is already in my account. So I want to say within an hour to a little bit, uh, no, a half hour to a little bit over a half hour, I got all my money back. <laughs> and uh, to me, that's that was great. And then the next day, I got a, a package from Cerakote and they gave me a brand new kit. So. They gave me the 25 bucks back for the original kit. They gave me a brand new kit, which is worth about 25 bucks. That's with shipping and handling. Plus, next day shipping, that's close to 60 bucks that they were willing to say, hey, uh, we guarantee our product, and if it doesn't work for you, your money back. That's amazing. And then I got another email from a, a gentleman named Chris, who's in charge of e-marketing for Trimcoat. And uh, he thanked me for my review on Amazon. He, uh, sorry that it didn't work out, but if there's anything else that they could do in the future to uh, help me, they would. He said he was gonna give a copy of, uh, of all this to his CEO, the uh, product developers, uh, the, the technical support guys throughout the company, just to see, just to show, you know, hey, this is what we had. And uh, maybe there's a way we can improve, uh, something else we can do. You know, to me, that's awesome. I got directly notified. I got directly 
uh, an email from marketing to tell me, hey, we are going to look into this and rest assured our product's going to get better. And I have no doubt that they will. So again, recommend it and I'm happy with it. Let's see here. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my videos and hit that notification button. And I hope everybody's staying safe right now. Wear a mask if you're going out. Stay home if you don't need to go out. Other than that, remember, anybody can be a father, but it takes a special person to be a dad. Stay safe, everyone, and God bless.